What's up guys and welcome to the very first episode of Who Knows Them Better? show what we have is we have some questions for both these fellas out here they're gonna answer them to their best knowledge and honesty and Michelle will pick the best answer and they will score points the winner will get a special beautiful gift are you guys excited yeah! I sure am question number one what is Michelle's favorite color oh. Oh, do we have something what is it what is it it's teal. Teal! Okay, okay, before we confirm that, Chris, let's get yours. Navy. Navy is a navy blue. Navy blue. Navy blue or teal. What's it gonna be, Michelle? Who knows you better? It's actually green, but teal, I guess, falls under green. Oh my goodness. Question number two, fellas. Don't worry, we, we're doing great. How many piercings has she had in her life? One. One? <laughs> okay, okay, come on, come on. Four? Okay, we've got four and one. How many is it, Mitch? In my life, I've had seven piercings. Okay, okay. I guess in this one, I think Chris gets the point. Give it up for Chris, everybody. Question number three. How tall is Michelle in centimeters? Mm, easy, 151. I think she shrunk. 150. <laughs> 150? Well, Michelle, what is your height? Uh, yeah, 151 or 152. All right, and that goes to Nils. Nils got it the closest. Well done, sir. Question number four. This is gonna be a little bit spicy. A little bit spicy. I think it's gonna be subjective, but don't worry, Mitch. You've still got the final vote. What's Michelle's most annoying habit? Oh my God. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing, because everything is nice. <laughs> We have Chris with completely, I don't know, PR answer. Let's go to Nils. What do you think, Nils? Come on. I would say she always has to be on time. Can the audience of staff members, like, uh, can you guys corroborate that? Is it her, her need to be on time? <laughs> you don't listen. <laughs> so, Michelle, who do you think got it right? Um, I value my face. I'm going to give it to Chris. <laughs> Debatable! Debatable! And with that, first, let's hear a word from this year's sponsor. Come on in! And we're back from this year's messages! Can we move on to the next question? <laughs> question number five. What were Michelle's SPM results? <laughs> exactly! <laughs> Nils, nobody said this show was going to be fair. Alright, let's hear it. 3.5 Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. <laughs> well, um, good luck on that one. Chris, what do you think? Nine A's. Nine A's? Good. Michelle. Okay, um, I actually got um, eight A's. Oh my god. Chris was very close. Oh my god. Well done. Point goes to Chris, everybody. <laughs> Nails, no one in this entire audience knew what the hell 3.5 in SPM even was. Next question. Can Sie Deutsch sprechen? Yeah, ein kleines bisschen. Oh hell yeah, she does be German! Oh. Chris, we never said it was fair to you either. Oh well, point goes to nails. <sighs> okay fellas, now I know we're guys, so dates are not our strong suit. But we can try with this one. Because what was the date of your first date 
with Michelle. The date of your first date, Nils, hits the bell. Come on, Nils, what is it? 2nd of June 2019. Oh my, it's not been too long, but hopefully he's got it right. Chris, we're going back in the history books. What is it? 20th of January 23rd. He, he shot something. It's a shot in the dark. All right, we have completely, I don't know, random number from Chris. I know it's near my birthday the phone. Hitting an emotional chord now, Mitch. Mitch, please, God, tell me at least you remember your the dates of your first dates with them. Uh, Nils got it exactly right. Nils, Nils. But I'm not too sure. I think Chris got it pretty close, also. Seriously? I know it's 2012. I think it's somewhere in Jan, but I don't remember when. He gets props for getting the year right. Oh, come on, Chris. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's been terrific, but we have come down to our final question. I know, I know, I know, but if you like the show, maybe you want to comment below what else we should do, or maybe who else we should have next. But with that being said, the final question. If both of you were drowning and Michelle could only save one, who would she save? <laughs> We have a bell. Let's hear it. It's gonna be Nils. <laughs> you think she'd let him drown? Oh no 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 no! Me me no, no. I mean like uh, she's, she's gonna save, save him. him. Yeah. And yeah. Drown oh, you. Right. What do you think, Nils? You think you're going down to the bottom of the ocean? I don't want to be an asshole, but I, <laughs> I think she would choose me. Yeah, I guess. So. <laughs> All right, Michelle. We've heard from the fellas. Moment of truth. Who's drowning and who's coming on the boat? Oh, man, it's so hot to <laughs> Do you feel the tension in this room right now, by the way? Can you feel it? Oh, my God. Logically, I would choose... Logically, I would choose Chris. To say <laughs> why would you... Why would you choose Chris? Why would you choose Chris? Uh, I... <laughs> You, you made it, Chris. You did make it. Oh my god, but let's hear why. Practically, uh, I can't let my co-founder drown. We are supporting 60 plus people in this office, so... Including myself. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. We just got this breaking news right here. The winner of today's Who Knows the Better of Michelle is... Niles with Nine! Anyways, Niles, this is for you for knowing her better. Everybody. No! no! So that's the show, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll catch you guys next time on...